absurds are not easy by any means. And rationalising is quite a confusing concept, though not difficult. The underlying principle is we don't like a square root underneath a fraction. It is very difficult to divide by what are called irrational numbers. However, we can change it so the square root is on the top of the fraction. Now what we know is we can times the top and the bottom of a fraction by the same thing and it is still the same fraction. Now, just bear with me, we can times the top and the bottom by root 3. It is still the same fraction. 1 times root 3 and then from before we can write this as square root, root of 3 times root of 3 is the root of 9. But that can be worked out. The square root of 9 equals 3. <coughs> it has gone from being a fraction with the square root below to a fraction with the square root above. And that is the principle of rationalising fractions. You can probably follow the pattern now. We times this one in the second example by root 5. 2 times root 5, we can only write as 2 root 5, but we know when they're both square roots, we can write it as 25, and we can then work out what the bottom of the fraction is, because we can work out the square root of 25, which equals 5, and that is a rationalised third. Now don't be put off by this expression here, the same principles apply. We times top and bottom by just the root 8. 3 times root 8 all over 2 lots of root 64. That part can be worked out. we know that the root of 64 is 8. This goes a bit further. It's 3 root 8 over 2 times 8 is 16. And that's a pretty good answer for this question. But if you're going for the A star, you can go a step further. Now, I may just borrow another bit of paper for a moment. Root of 8 is the same as 4 times 2. That is a square factor of 8, which is root of 4 root of 2, which is 2 root of 2. So root of 8 is 2 root 2, therefore I can replace this root 8 by 2 root 2. And 3 times 2 is 6, which is absurd in its simplest form. Except, some bright ones may have noticed that 6 over 16 is the same as 3 eighths. So you can also write 3 eighths here rather than 6 sixteenths to take it a step further. So that's rationalising. These ones probably look a bit more confusing. But just bear with me because there's a standard trick when you've got two parts below with a plus or a minus. Now I tend to put brackets around the bottom of any expression. Now the trick for this one is to multiply 
the top and the bottom by the same expression but with the sign changed. It is still the same fraction but I've times by the same expression with the sign changed. Now we then have to work out the top and the bottom separately. And this is where some little shortcuts come in. The top's standard. 1 times root 5 is root 5. 1 times minus 2 is minus 2. But this is a special type of expression which you can learn in so much as the root 5's come together to give root of 25 and 2 times minus 2 is minus 4. Almost there because root of 25 is 5 and 5 take away 4 is 1. So that has therefore been rationalised. The second one works on the same principle. This time we times the top and bottom by the same expression but with the sign changed. We then work out the top 2 times root 7 is 2 root 7 2 times 1 is 2 and then the shortcut still applies root of 7 times root of 7 is root of 49 1 times 1 is 1 is a minus so take away 1 which gives us 2 root 7 plus 2 root of 49 is 7 7 take away 1 is This goes a step further for those who like to spot little tricks is that 2 is a factor of all of that so it can be written as root 7 plus 1 over 4 and the final one in a pattern now, we times by the same expression with the sign changed. We work out the top part separately. Be very careful. Root 3 times 5 is 5 root 3. Root 3 times root 2 is root 6. Same trick, 5 times 5 is 25, the minus now, root 2 times root 2 is root of 4. This equals 5 root 3 plus root of 6, root of 4 is 2, 25 take away 2 is 23. And that is the principle behind this harder idea of rationalising thirds. One of the hardest ideas, I think, on the GCSE syllabus, and also a tricky idea on the core one in A-level.